Chris Tales is a classic RPG with a very, very interesting skin. Uh, the art style on this is taken right out of a page of a Mary Blair art book. Mary Blair is uh, one of the primary inspirations or designers for uh, Small Worlds and uh, the Small World attraction at Disney World or Disneyland. So if you've seen anything Small World related, like you'll you'll recognize some of the artwork here in terms of the art style. They've adapted this really, really well. It looks beautiful. I was playing this last night. I was just in awe going through the entire uh, prologue, which was kind of strange. The prologue kind of makes you loop back on yourself, um, which feels kind of awkward the way they do it. Uh, but you know, the game has other issues. <laughs> so we'll let that slide for now. What I'm gonna show you guys today though is a uh, kind of just kind of a roundabout way of, of uh, an all around look at some of the um, uh, some of the content of the game without necessarily revealing too much of the story because it is a very story driven RPG. And from what I've read, it's not particularly long. Now I'm not gonna go through and finish the title. Uh, I don't typically finish titles whenever I do these things, uh, but this should be a good spot where I can turn around and I can show you guys some of the combat, some of the overworld stuff, some of the the dialogue and all that. Uh, and, and really, like, this, some of the combat is actually quite innovative and very, very cool in terms of UI. Uh, I would love to see more turn-based games use this kind of system. And so I'm, I'm, right now all I'm doing is I'm running around trying to just draw aggro here. Uh, here we go. Uh, so it does have these open world random, uh, random attacks and random encounters like you would expect in most JRPGs. Uh, so... I uh, see oh stole healing juice oh nice so <laughs> little jerk so check this out uh, this is rad like this system of just being able to use the controller to go click 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 around to different skills and abilities or different uh, things you can do to go to items you know go through maybe we use one of these we can go past we can switch to the next person at the very top you see the top that's the timeline uh, so we click on this it says it's gonna pass to uh, one of the enemies there uh, but lower left corner you can see my health uh, and mana power uh, and CP over here on the right there's another character another enemy over there we have to be careful of um, but the, the the thing that sets this game apart from uh, a lot of other titles not just the UI which again just outstanding outstanding job uh, but also the way that they handle uh, the, the way they have a the, they uh, the mechanic of being able to send things to the future in the past. So let's go ahead and uh, let me see. Let's go ahead and take this guy and we'll just we'll just douse him with water here, right? So we're gonna douse him with water. Boom. Uh, oh, I heal some. That's right. Okay. Well, he's still wet, so sure. Uh, oh, did a little bit of damage there. Um, let me go ahead and send this person to the future, even though it's not really gonna do anything. Temporal limit, just took a little bit of damage there, probably from the water, I guess, maybe the moisture or something, I'm not sure. But the way the game works is, is that you can, uh, is you can, um, send, send once the right side to the future, it's in the left side to the past. You can't choose the left side and say, okay, send that one to the past, it's in the right side of the future. Um, or vice versa. Uh, unfortunately, it's limited in that in that capacity, uh, and that part kind of sucks because it's uh, and this this kind of like, plays into the whole like failed or, or uh, 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 um, uh, lack of realist fully realist real realist full realization of uh, of some of these features of like what they could have been, right? Like some of this stuff, like this the future and the past mechanics and everything. I feel like they could have been so much more like giving us the option to choose, you know, if I want to invoke a crystal on the left side or the right side. Now, notice I just deflected some of that damage. Uh, that is an active ability. So when I go to attack somebody, so first I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, invoke a pass crystal here to, to uh, send them to the pass. Now, notice that they're younger here, so they're weaker. Um, but I'm going to do a regular attack here. And you'll see, without touching anything, I'll do one swing, and that's it. Right? Almost every character that I've had so far has done that. Right? One swing, and that's it, if you don't push anything. Now with this guy, I'm gonna I'm gonna mash the A button a bunch of times as I'm attacking here. So boom, boom, look at that. Two strikes. So you have an active uh, attack ability being able to add combo swings to your main swing uh, and also you can active block. So that's rad. Like this reminds me, I think of like Grandia, I think. Grandia 2 maybe? I can't remember, but there, there was a kind of a timed like issue thing. I might be getting my JRPGs mixed up. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just a pretty pretty rad setup. Like the uh, being able to to actively deflect and actively uh, 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 you know provoke an, an, an additional attack, uh, all that stuff is just really really cool. 
So I've already explored all of this. Um, right now, all I'm doing is just kind of giving you guys, just letting you give you guys a tour, and then, and then I'm gonna move on, and then we'll get to the next story elements. I can show you a city, and then, uh, so you can see what that looks like, because that also looks really, really cool. Uh, let me see here. Uh, this guy on the left is already young, so I can't send him back in time. It's not gonna do anything. These guys over here on the right, uh, they're actually already old, so invoking a future crystal there is actually gonna do nothing because they'll reach a temporal limit because they're already as old as they could get. Which is kind of silly. I feel like if they're old in present day and I send them to the future, they should just die. Uh, or something, but that's just not how the game works. Um, let me see, I have a heal, but I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to go straight attack on this. Oops, uh, let's go back over here. Yes, you can attack this friendly fire. Um, I've discovered. <laughs> I actually broke the tutorial that way. Because <laughs> the guy was like, I'll show you how my poison works. Apply the poison to this character over here on the right. And so instead of that, I applied a poison to another person in my party. And uh, and the dialogue kept going as if I had done the right thing. It's like, okay, now send him to the future. And they're like reacting to something that wasn't happening. They're like, oh, look, all the poison reacted at once. And none of that happened. My main character was just dying from being poisoned. <laughs> so I guess they weren't really anticipating people doing that. Uh, let's see, water bubble. I don't know if these things are going to be susceptible to water. Oh, it's a Mocha Elder. Um, I don't know if it's susceptible to water, but they're not plant, they're not necessarily plant creatures like the other ones. So let's go and try it, see what happens. You know what? 82, dang, oh man, okay. And then for this one, what I'll do is, and this is perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a poisonous plant. Not a poisonous attack, uh, not an attack, a poisonous plant. We'll drop this right here, uh, and then parry that, bam. Oh, parry parries too, oh. Good active deflect, still took a little damage. Uh, and then what I'll do is, uh, oh, no, 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 I'll poke a future crystal, or the future crystal. So that one reached temporal limit, but died because of damage, critical. So now this thing is poisoned. Uh, and then I'm gonna go and do another attack here. I know we can do a third one, and I feel like mashing the button is not the right way to do it. Uh, the, I would say, I would say though, some of the some of the animations, the attack animations, make it a little bit difficult to time some of these attacks, especially the incoming damage, because um, you don't really know exactly when some of the attacks are going to, like what their window is for uh, for any for a defensive maneuver. Um, it's just not really that obvious. <laughs> Over time, trial and error, you'll probably figure it out though. So you gotta just take a take a couple hits to the face before you. Um, uh, before you master that. So let's go ahead and move down to, we'll probably have another encounter here as we go out, which was kind of the point. Uh, we're gonna move on down. There's a lot, there's a little bit of exploration here too. Like I, I, I kind of explored around, you can see the gate upper left corner. Actually, my mouse still works, right? Yeah, it does. They don't hide the mouse, which is really kind of weird. I have to kind of just push it down off the screen or off whatever. Uh, anyway, so this, this fence right here, like I kind of went up and around, there was a chest right there. So uh, I was rewarded for my exploration. Uh, again, up here, went up here, and then there was a chest up there, and I looted that. So the game was pretty well with rewarding you for exploration, which which was you would typically expect from a, from a, an Where's RPG. Them? What, what do you, you want, want to, do? to do? We could rest for a while. Uh, I don't have a tent, so we can't do that, which would just basically restore my health. Or I see if I want to record my progress, so I let's record, record my progress. I want to record it in a new slot. It looks like you only have five slots here, or four slots, rather. Um, which is kind of weak. <laughs> like, why do you have limits to slots, man? This is the future, come on. I should be able to make a hundred saves. All right, here we go. So this is an attack, uh, this is a fight that, um, well, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just do the best we can. Uh, I don't know if getting these things wet is really gonna help at all, but <laughs> I suppose we give it a shot. And so we have four attacks coming in. One, two, three, four on the very top there, so. Uh, well, we could just get them wet and see what happens. 82, all right. Okay, incoming. Uh oh, that's not an attack. Okay. That's probably a buff of some sort. Deflected, so it's 39 damage. Deflected. Is that right, or is that damage falling off? Yeah, no, that's this damage. It's still damage. Regardless of, <laughs> of being able to uh, deflect, <laughs> I'm sure my skills in uh, deflecting will be increased as I level up or something. Alright, so all the ones on the left hopefully will do less damage. So let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we go. Oh gosh, I can't really poison these guys. If I send these guys to the future, they're gonna get stronger. Um, these are basically like teenagers on the right hand side, so uh, we'll, we will poison them. Um, we'll poison one here just to get it ticking. This is an active poison, not a, um, a plant. So they'll get them poisoned right now. And then this guy's hurting right now. So let's see if we can't. We have four attacks coming in. Okay, yeah, I think should be weak. It will at the next tick or so. Block. 
block. 28 deflected. It didn't do the whole damage though. What gives? We never see wolves this angry. If this keeps up, I'm not sure we're going to make it to sink clarity. No! What if what if I Crispell? Stay down. We'll this battle is over! So like I said, there's a lots of uh, of VO. And lots of these like cutscenes too. Oh, the music here is clashing for some reason. The bug. There we go. Yeah, the music's clashing. Oof, that's rough. Rough on that top. That that that, 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 that the cutscene. What did you do? What did you do? She, she broke the crystals. How is that possible? Oh, possible. It's a talking frog, by the way, with a top hat. It's got a top hat. It's not. I don't know what happened. What did I do? You had no choice in the matter, Chris Bell. You were only trying to protect us. All right, so let's go ahead and zip oh, through here. So the power is gone, and so we move on to the next city. Uh, and this next city, uh, we're going to... So here we go. Now we get a good look at the overworld map. Um, just just such a beautiful game. It's a shame, though, that the combat... Uh, or that some elements of the combat were not fully realized. Like, some of the stuff you could have done. Like, it's 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 like you send them to the past, it's in the future and all that. Uh, only on one side, right? Yeah, so this is where we're supposed to go, but I kind of want to walk around here and just to kind of show you guys and, and also to explore myself because, again, the game does seem to reward exploring. What is this? These strange ruins seem similar to those near Nareen. Okay, well, I don't know what that is yet. I do enjoy I do enjoy playing these types of games. Like, it's been a while since I played a good uh, classic RPG, you know, with like full overworld random encounters and all that stuff. Like, it's been a while. I, I, I really miss that style of gameplay. Um, I guess I could go and play Final Fantasy, but nah, man, like, I need this, this top-down classic, classic type of look. I'm gonna fire Dragon Warrior again. Again. So there's nothing else here we can connect to and do anything, so we're gonna go and move on to the town. You have to see the town. The game does not lack for visuals. By any stretch. By any stretch. Look at this. The Floodside District. No, so are you right? Yeah, basically, we're discussing the crystals that she smashed. The crystals give her the ability to have her, uh, or, or, uh, or what give her time travel ability. Now, one character is going to leave the party, Christopher. Um, Christopher and Chris Bell help, hence Chris Tales. This is so much fun! Isn't that dangerous? Mm, yeah, but it's the only fun thing in town. Yeah, do you play in the flood control basins? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! This guy hasn't watched Flash Flood YouTube videos, boy. It seems dangerous. Dangerous, boy! And here he goes. Off into the runoff. <laughs> hey, wait a second! Somebody... Oh no! I suppose that somebody is going to be us. But I don't have my powers yeah, that, Yep, 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 yep. And now, now we could save again here. Shall we make uh, as we record our progress, I'll put this again in the uh, fifth slot here, or fourth slot. I'm just using different slots just for very little reason, outside of being able to show you guys some of this stuff without repeating uh, so much. So yeah, look at this. Like now we're gonna go through, and this is the part where you go and you talk to everybody. Damn, these crates are heavy. <sighs> at least I don't have to go up Mount Thysia anymore. Likely just become another statistic. And the more, you know, just like any RPGs, like talk to everybody in the towns, right? Well, now, now I can, um, I can, uh, uh, explore and find some more missions and whatnot. Although I do have one mission to hit Y. It's to go and help we that boy. We need to find the cathedral, oh. Chris Bell. It must be somewhere in St. Clarity. Okay, well, that's the main one. So, we could talk to all these guys. Mm -hmm. Mister, we just saw a child get swept away by those currents. Oh, dear. And? And? That's all you can say? And? Not my problem. I don't get paid to deal with stuff like that. So, no thank you. You're not going to help us? <laughs> no. Go look for someone that gives a damn. Very cliche character writing. <laughs> Some of these. Oh, this, is, this is a robot. You look tired. Needs somewhere to crash? 
Just 50 marbles g gets you each a bed where you can sleep easy. Easy, and he's all, he's look at him, he's all, hang loose, bro. They say, come on, everyone, let's rest. We can rest, get our health back come and everything. On, let's rest. Look, even play, look, even plays the sleeping song, man. This game really, it really, it really is trying, trying to, to reel me in. A be be beautiful day in the floodlight district. <laughs> Time to rise and shine. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it's just the worst, the worst robot sound. Just stutter, stutter in the microphone a bunch of times. Uh, all right, so let's see. Uh, there is a mechanic that I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you guys today. That's part of the trailer, actually. You can see the trailer, but uh, notice how before I was able to uh, uh, invoke crystals on the right side, left side, showing the past on the left and the present on the future uh, on the right side. Or the future on the right hand side. Uh, well, that is uh, a, man a manipulatable thing. Uh, and you get, you'll handle this in the prologue where you can at times, what is this little spot here? Something, no, nothing, okay. Um, this little talking frog here, you can actually, uh, when you have the crystals, oh, can I get swept away here? Yes, I can. Um, you can have him time, like time shift or whatever to the future of the past to uh, cause certain things, to kind of like nudge certain things uh, to happen in order to affect the present day or the future. Uh, so you get, you have to make decisions uh, based off of that. Like maybe you want to say one shop, and maybe or, or you want to say you maybe want to um, uh, you'll plant a seed and have that you know, turn into a tree for some reason. Uh, there's a number of things you could do using that frog. It's not particularly very open. Uh, it's it's stuff it's stuff that's all very well scripted. So you're gonna just ha it's gonna just just happen as you're More going kids. through the story. What is it this time? Mister, we just saw a child get swept away by those currents. <laughs> That old trick? Excuse me? I won't be fooled again. Get out of here! <laughs> Alright, well, I can't go that way. What's over here? There better be something over here. It's a long walk. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll go. Well, I'm not gonna go to the left to see what's over there. I'm gonna go down. So we gotta save that kid. So let's go ahead and make an effort. Let's make some kind of effort to, to work our way over there at least. Mm-hmm. Lots of people. Everybody's got stories. Certain things you could do, again, to uh, trigger events in the past, present, and future. Um, but I don't have my time crystals anymore, so I can't do that. Let's go and talk to her and see if maybe this is a get we out here. Don't tell me my son is still out there playing in the flood water. Oh snap. Should we tell her? There's no need to cause her undue worry. Let's just oh don't tell her. <laughs> All right, maybe maybe how we do it is we just jump in the water and go. <laughs> Let's just ride it out. Oh dang. Oh I I don't feel like I'm supposed to make it over here. Oh maybe I am. Oh this doesn't feel right. The way I just kind of maneuvered my way around that. Oh, there's a ramp right there. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. The ramp that I wanted that kid to hold on to. Oh god, here comes the water. Here comes the water. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine. Don't worry. We'll save you. Oh, fat blob. Oh, dang. Pierre. Pierre's a blob. Look at his hat. Is that a hat? It's a hat, right? Poison. Oh, block parry. Look at that. Look at that active parry, baby. Water. I wonder if water does oh heal. Oops, I don't want to do that. Um, that's, that's right. She's not the water. She's not the water boy. The water boy went on a walk. Oh dang it, I wasn't matched the button. See? Ah. Poison. I don't feel like poison typically works against against blobs. Well, we'll try it anyways. Poisonous. Let's just uh let's just throw a plant and then we're gonna send to the future. Let's see what that does. Go. Oh, zero. Okay, but poison, right? Sucks. <laughs> oh, I don't have my crystals. That's right. Duh. Can't send in the future. Dang it. Get some good chopping in. We all know that sharp objects do well against uh, slime based creatures. Right, guys? Right. With my bludgeon. Uh, so, this is it. poison's not going to help. Well, not, not a plant poison, anyways. Let's do a Eucondra. Uh, there we go. Immune! Ah, I need a poison! Of course. 
parry. Just take an attack. Should I take a poison damage here? Chop chop, 10, 14, 25. Uh, they don't show you your, their health. Which is a shame. This guy's, this guy's main attack does basically nothing every time. It's so useless. No, I did not block. No, I was ma I was mashing it, so I should have probably just timed it well. Instead of mashing it like a nerd. Come on. Pink. Still took a little bit of damage. Oh, that thing finally went off. But it's immune, so, you know. She's hurting. I should probably heal her while I'm in here, because I don't think I can cast spells in the overworld. So what I'll do is... If she's still alive after the swing, which I'm sure this guy does like fire damage. Six damage, I was wrong. Um, he's gonna do an attack here. Deflected, she's hurting. Yeah, so this, we're gonna go ahead and cast a heal on ourselves. There we go. How much does it heal for? 27 to 131? Wow, 104! There we go. And he's here to do basically nothing. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have items like rocks or something like that that I can throw. You know, like some turn-based games that have uh, RPGs, they have items that you can use to throw. I don't have anything in my inventory right now. I have, like, tea. <laughs> and, like, I don't know, healing pots. Oh, he looks like he's been weakened. He's turned into, he's sort of deflated. Oh, God, it's so sad. Let's let's take a look and see. I mean, honestly, item. Uh, healing, juice, mana, potion, rainbow tea, ringing bell, cure stun status, flask of feathers, revives ally. Yes, yeah, so, let's see, I don't need any of this stuff. Not that's going to do anything. Let's go and attack him. Already. This should be it. Oh my gosh, this guy's weakened state is... takes forever. Come on, baby. Done. Done. Perfect. Oh, I learned a new uh, Are you new spell. Okay? I'm fine. Thanks for the help, miss! You too, mister! I'm sorry we didn't get to you earlier. I was powerless. Enough! Do you hear yourself right now, Crispel? You sound like a whiny bee! But, Maestro, if I had my powers... Even with your powers, you can't expect to make everyone happy. What's important is that we choose to do the, the right thing, thing yep, for yep, those yep. that need it's our a, help. That's a, a positive message. I guess you did the right thing, Crispel. You changed the future for the better. Uh, mister! <laughs> Miss! Oh, right. Sorry. Let's get you back That's to your mom. Now, if I had my crystals, I could see Hi, what the future would hold for this okay? for this boy and his family, Thank actually. For saving me. We're glad to be able to help. Mom, I don't feel so good. Amigo, let's get some soup in you before you cut your death. You'll be better in no time. There we go. Um, so, we'll probably stop there, but we can talk to these folks and just kind of keep the story going and uh, you'll continue like talking to other characters and everything, just like you would expect in a typical RPG. Um, really, the, 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 the saving grace of this title is the fact that it is so good looking and that the combat is pretty good. It just sucks that the crystals are so one-sided, like literally one-sided. Uh, so you can't mix and match those things on either side and try cool combinations with them. So so the time crystal thing feels a little shallow, but the rest of the combat's still pretty good. Uh, it would be nicer if it was more defined in terms of like the reactions, the windows for deflecting and for uh, bonus attacks and all that. Bonus attacks pretty easy to to, uh, to trigger, but the deflections and all that, like I feel like that, that could be maybe a little more obvious with some attacks. But you know, it's trial and error. You're gonna go and you're gonna play and you're gonna save scum and everything on your four saves. Uh, and then you'll, and that's what you'll, Shall we make a record? let's go and make a I regular progress, there we go. Um, anyway, so we can put this here, and this puts me about two hours in. Uh, this is my second save, actually, because the first save I went through with the prologue, and I was like, I must have fucked something up because it put me right back at the beginning. Because that's what the prologue does, so if you play this game, just know, the prologue's gonna take you through a whole journey, and then it's gonna put you right back where you started, you're gonna be like, wait, wait, wait I think I messed up. So, no, you did not, that's part of it. You have to do the whole first fight again. Um, but anyways, the game is called Chris Tales. It's available on Switch. It's available on Steam. 
Uh, it is, like I said, it's a beautiful game. Uh, and if you're into RPGs or looking for something that uh, to occupy your time for several hours, this will probably do it for you. Uh, really great UI mechanics uh, in terms of like selecting attacks and abilities and all that. Like beautiful, perfect for controller. Man, so 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 good. Uh, but that's it. My name is Mike B. A. K. Phony. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you.